M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Malahit DSP2 on the right and the RS918 orange button battery version on the left. We'll just turn up here, you can see it's quite active here on 40 meters. Excellent set. <coughs> it works great, and what I love about this set, I mean, it is a receiver. It's quite a thin unit, metal, very good quality unit. Big colour screen, of course, touch screen. But it will do VHF, UHF. We can listen to air band. We can listen to marine band. Um, also decodes... CW decodes FTA, pretty sure RTTY, and, and lots more broadcast radio. So I'm a real fan for it. And price wise, it's about £250. Now, the reason I'm showing it with the other set, the RS918, it, it's more of a HF set. It's a HF six, uh, is it do six meters? Mm, it's questionable about the six meters. I will test that. Otherwise, it's a very similar price, £250, but it has a built in transceiver. And that's the key difference between these two, is that this one, I could turn up, if I turn up the volume now. So that's the 918 you're hearing now. Now we can tune through. If I turn it down, turn up the other one. It's more bassy speaker there, but saying that we can change settings on the on the 918. You've got a massive menu there that you can play around with now. I love these devices. I just think they're brilliant. Uh, even if you've got the best HF radio in your shack, I've got you know 7610 here. It doesn't matter. This is a, this is you're going to have great fun with a device like this. And you don't buy it because you need it. You buy it because you're going to really, really enjoy it. You know, it's touch screen. You change all the parameters. Decode CW, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it does do CW. I'm not sure how it works with FTA. Uh, touch screen, change of meters. It's just really good. So I just wanted to show them side by side because I'm so impressed with both of them. But this thing here, I mean, if I tap the screen and put in a VH, uh, UHF, 434.550. And then megahertz, and straight away we need to go. Me uh, mode is FM. So look, um, I could type in marine band. I could type in air band. It's all going to be there. You got two antennas. One has a booster. One antenna. One connection is designed for your sort of cheap telescopic type antennas. So they've changed the ohms so it works better. You know, it's like when you hold your hand on an antenna and then it works better. Somehow they've, you know, they, they, they've done that. So it works better. Both touch screen, you know, you touch screen and you, and you move around the band. And, and you can change, you've got waterfall and everything. So that's it for now. The new one that I'm playing with, which you are definitely going to like, on the Quanshan UVK5 which is, you know, I'm just watching a video on it now. PC Control by Nick Shaw. PC Control of your Quanshang UVK5. That's going to be fun. You do have to load the firm, different firmware or a specific firmware um, and, and then run this program here, which is called the Quanshang Dock. Bye for now, 7.3.